I'm surprised my husband. This is our day night little treat. Maybe not little, it's kind of big. Dinner's ready. Still sleeping? Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Today I'm making something spicy and it's originally from Sichuan, my hometown, Chengdu. This is called Bo Bo Ji. Bo Bo means a clay pot, but I don't have a clay pot today. So I use a blue pot. So in Sichuan, you go on the little street, I have this like a roadside stand, I have a tiny little table, you sit down with your friends eating this. We'll count each bamboo skewers. How many you eat? How many you can eat today? Let's see. Let's get this started. Who wants a bite? This story starts with a beautiful bird wind up in a big red pot and sleeping with some green onions and ginger. I'm thinking adding some water to make it a little more romantic and the Sichuan peppercorn adds some flavor. Bring the soup to a boil, then we turn it down. Cook for another hour on medium-low heat. The second part of the sauce, we slice the garlic in little pieces. I guess in China, we just use green onions. These um, purple bigger onion, we call Western onion. This comes from the Western country. And we chop the green onions in longer pieces. I'll put on the side, I'll introduce you some more dry spices I use for stir frying the sauce. I'm going to mix some star anise and cinnamon sticks and a few bay leaves. And those are dry spice called cao guo in Chinese. My cookbook, Asian Market Cookbook, I talk about how to pick your best ingredients. All this you can find in your local Asian market. Sichuan dou ban. Yes, Sichuan bar bean chili paste. This is one of the main ingredients in Sichuan cooking. The third part of the sauce is chili oil sauce. We need a chili oil. This is my homemade. And the homemade Sichuan peppercorn oil. I have a recipe video down below in the description. You can check out how to make this. This is those two jars I save in my pantry. I use almost every day. So first we scoop out this chili oil. Also with some of the chili pepper powder on the bottom. Take two tablespoons. If you like really spicy, you can add more. And my Sichuan peppercorn oil, half tablespoon. It's really numb. I'm measuring this for you. So for me, cooking for over 30 years, never measure, just like my grandma. Use my Chinese eyeballs, you'll practice. You'll be like me. Little sugar to balance the taste. Sesame oil. One and two. Now we add some salt, crushed roasted peanuts, and sesame seeds. Let's mix this chili oil mala sauce. This we will mix in with the chicken soup. So now this part is to prepare your vegetable. This is one of my favorite Asian vegetables of Wosun. It's called saltus. Has a very crunchy, nutty taste. You can use for stir fry, salads. You simply peel, then we slice them in thin pieces. Mm, or little chunks. Lotus roots, you can also get it from Asian market. When you prepare this, you still have to peel the skin. But bo bo is pretty flexible. You can pick any vegetables you like. Hello, everyone. So we slice this in small pieces. Mm. Then they cook very quickly in the water. This is what? Mm. Mm? I don't know that. This is a lotus root, say with holes in here. And we slice them in thin pieces. Mm? Look at that. Hmm? How about this? It doesn't smell like anything. This is what? Mmm. Wo suan. Baba. Wo suan. Baba. Why do you like Baba? Say, wo suan. Wo suan. Wo suan. Mmm. The shanggu is big. You like Chop in half. Somewhere I can chop again, like a quarter. This is tofu gan, the five spice flavored tofu. Chop them in little squares. So for this, you don't have to boil. Look at this. Mm. Mm. Now the chicken's ready. Let's take this chicken out. Mm, so good. Now the chicken's a little bit cool. We are going to slice the chicken. I have this special cleaver just to cut the bones. 
So for this dish, if you don't have a whole chicken, you can always buy a chicken thigh to make the chicken soup. You don't have to buy the whole chicken. So this part is we are going to cut the chicken in small thin pieces. Get a bamboo square. We are putting the chicken on here. Also this dish in Chengdu, many parts of the chicken we using here. Chicken liver, chicken hearts, those two pretty big. Mm. Boil the water. We really cook the vegetables. Let's cook the mushrooms first. These cook like 30 seconds. They'll be done. They take them out right away. Throw wosun. Saltis. I always cook the potato last after I take these vegetables out. Once the water boils, the enoki mushrooms will be ready to jump out here. And the lotus roots cook a little longer, maybe a couple more minutes. This one only needs like 30 seconds. If you can't find this, you can use celery, asparagus. There are so many choices for boboji. Comment below here. Tell me what vegetable you like to use in this dish. We soak the quail eggs in cold water first, so they won't crack. For the quail eggs, three to four minutes after water is boiling. Hot wok, cold oil. When oil is hot, add green onions, purple onion, and garlic. Sichuan broth bean chili paste. I add two tablespoons. Let the chili paste fry in the oil until you see everything turns red. Fermented black beans so for another minute. Now we put the dry spice in. Get this fragrance out. So here's your chicken soup. Adding the wok. This smells almost like hot pot already. Let's cover it. Cook for 20 minutes. Now, are you ready? We put this chili oil sauce in the boiling chicken soup. Put this in. For the soup, we can drain those spices. Take it out. Any nice pot. If you have a clay pot, even better. We will let this fabulous sauce sit on the side. Let it cool while we are making this bamboo squares. Potatoes are delicious in that sauce. <coughs> Putting the lotus on the squares. You can do as many as you like. This one. Now all your food, the chicken, everything, ready to jump in this fabulous sauce. It's a chicken. Enoki mushrooms are one of my favorites. Soak the flavor in. Let's get this set up for dinner. This. Of course, chopsticks. I need some rice, right? You have to have rice. Rice is life. Remember that. Spicy Chinese food, great with beer. Okay, this is the showstopper right here. Why so heavy? Let's go get him. Let's check my circus. The kids are sleeping, so we can have a quiet dinner. Oh, yes. That's pretty good. Everyone's sleeping. Yeah. Wow. Let's see what my husband's doing. Dinner's ready. Still sleeping? Yeah. What do you think? Mm, okay. Bo Ji, you haven't had it since 2018 when we were in China. What do you think that? I can't even open this beer. <coughs> How's that? Let's try a little pizza. I'm gonna officially try this. Let's try chicken. <coughs> the funniest thing we've ever eaten here. Where's the chicken? Here. Some probably think this is a worse one. Saltis, mm, so crunchy. Mm. Cheers. Mm. So much flavor. 
If you like my recipe, don't forget smash your like button and subscribe my channel. You'll see more Chinese food, spicy Sichuan food. Every time you see my YouTube video, the food in the video is what we eat. Alright, see you next time.